How's it going, everyone? This is your astrology horoscope for the weekend of June 15th and 16th, 2024. I'm astrologer Alex Skiles, and welcome to the Moon Base. Good to be back here with all y'all. I'm feeling a little better. I'm not 100%, but it's good to be back. And thank you all for the kind words once again. Shit sucks. It's like you wake up and then your throat is swollen. I can't even swallow food. So shit's been going around so if anybody's feeling under the weather i wish you the best uh, <clears throat> so anyway this weekend's gonna be kind of a wild trip here because uh venus and mercury are gonna have their conjunction while squaring neptune and these this relationship theme that's been playing out since we had the sun um venus kazemi with that new moon in gemini now that Mercury just had its Kazemi with the sun yesterday and this weekend with Venus and Mercury making their conjunction while squaring Neptune, like this is when the conversation really starts to become clear and the words start to become clear, especially, oh, let me back up here, um, especially once, you know, this moon um, really uh, gets involved with Neptune and the Mercury Venus conjunction that we're going to have on Sunday. But here on Saturday with when we do come into the day, it is it's kind of like, man, like we're feeling a little bit more balanced. You know, but it's kind of like this moon really wants to balance things, right? And this and the scales are starting to feel like they're shifting and moving in whichever direction. We're not really sure yet cuz you know, we still have until we still have the next set of eclipses that we got to get through. But it is now that the nodes are starting to move towards the first deacon of Aries and Libra here. And not, it won't be long. Cause we're at 12 degrees now. It, it, it is like we've gone through so much. Like we've had to, you know, make a lot of changes and a lot of adjustments in our life and certain relationships or certain ideas about relationships or having to make massive adjustments and changes in relationships, even in marriages that have been long standing. You know, relationships have gone through so much here. And even for some people, it's like all new doors and new relationships opening up, right? Big time. Especially after that new moon and the Venus Sun Kazemi. But now, you know, there are a lot of things that have been kind of unclear where we can start to really understand and rationalize as Mercury starts to move towards Venus here on Saturday. And this moon on the south node in Libra is also bringing up like, okay, like, let's look back at the, those first eclipses in Aries and Libra last October and the eclipses we just went through in April. And just look, kind of revisit that purging process of where relationships have been, you know, really maximized or have been brought to the forefront in our lives and the decisions we've had to make, right? So now that Mercury and Venus have crossed the sun and then Mercury and Venus are about to meet here in the same sign, there's a big message coming through for all of us about our relationship life or our self-worth or even our relationship with ourself or our relationship with our creative um, our creativity or our relationship with money, our finances, right? So there is a message that's coming through this weekend, okay? But there's also this f acceptance. I just feel like there's this acceptance that's coming through with this moon and Libra on the south node as this conjunction is getting ready to happen. Is that there's this acceptance. Even the things that didn't work out, it's like we're on the other side of the hill. We're feeling like we're, we're coming up onto the other side of, you know, the initial traumas that occurred, especially with Chiron here. When we had the Chiron North Node conjunction and how that affected relationships, plus the eclipses that followed. Now, 
with Mercury and Venus and the sun coming together and the moon crossing the south node, as this is happening, it's like there is this clarity, mental clarity and understanding about why, you know, asking the questions with Mercury and Gemini, it's, it's like, well, understanding the why a lot more, you know, and with Libra and Gemini, it is about weighing things out, looking at things from both sides and being neutral, not attaching your, just your heart to the situation. It is really being able to mentalize uh, this process. And I think that's what this is, this, the vibe is this weekend, especially with relationships, because that's the focus this weekend is relationships. And it is Father's Day too. So happy Father's Day, um, <clears throat> which I think with this mental clarity that's coming through, it's going to help us start to push forward in a much more methodical way. I mean, we have Mars and Taurus. So it is like when we start to really piece things together and we start to make bigger, more broader understandings, it helps us move in a, a less fixed way, right? Like Mars does not do great in Taurus, right? But at least when we can get some mental clarity, we can actually move forward in a much more smoother way. Mars and Taurus doesn't necessarily move smoothly, right? But it, when we can actually breathe a little bit and get some clarity, it can help us move a lot more uh, fluid, you know, as much as Mars and Taurus is they're not good at doing that at all. So there is this kind of acceptance, I feel like, that's coming through this weekend. But, you know, along with that, there can be those moments of, well... Now that I'm on the other side of it, I can see it clearly, you know, and it's all good. I understand it. We keep moving forward. But then there is that underlying like, well, maybe, maybe it's not the end. Maybe that relationship's not over. You know, maybe, you know, we can try again, right? And it's like <clears throat> when this moon in Libra trines over to this Venus Mercury conjunction it's gonna quincunx neptune and of course neptune's gonna be making it square to this mercury venus conjunction so there's a lot of conversations that are going to be happening this weekend especially in our partnerships especially with money especially with anything creative or anything you know there, it, but it can get confusing very things can get blown out of proportion very easily very quickly okay with Mer with Neptune squaring over to Mercury, we have Mercury and Gemini in its ruling sign. We have Neptune and Pisces in its ruler at the last degree of you know this is a very faded degree. So a lot of these conversations that we're having right now, even people that we're meeting that are coming into it, it's very faded, right? A lot of synchronistic pieces to the puzzle are going to be piecing together this weekend but at the same time with the square to neptune it's like discerning like am i crazy like i knew that was gonna happen but fuck like am i crazy or like even projecting on like you know things that you believe in you know where your beliefs get challenged of like fuck like maybe i shouldn't believe in that or maybe that is just you know unrealistic and that's gonna come up this weekend too of like Okay, like we really need to have a realistic conversation about where both parties stand in the relationship. That's going to be very important with Venus here. And it's going to be very important with this moon in Libra, trining over to Venus. You know, with Venus dispositing the moon, with the moon in a Venus rule sign. Like this weekend is a relationship Venus weekend, plus with Mercury. <laughs> so... The moon's going to be in Libra all weekend. The moon will come to Scorpio late Sunday night here on the West Coast. But moon's in Libra all weekend. Relationships are the focus. Mercury-Venus conjunction. After Venus and Mercury just crossed the sun. While squaring Neptune. There's a lot of confusion that can be brought up in relationships. Things that, you know, see, you don't want to say things you didn't mean to say, right? Because... If you're just saying things without thinking right now and you're just letting that Neptune frequency just like drive your thoughts and your word, like you're just going to say all kinds of crazy shit and you're like, fuck, I should have said that. You know, I didn't realize I said that. 
Oh, you know, I was in another place. You know, being able to be objective, be diplomatic, and be neutral is so key. And I think when things do get crazy, things do get weird in relationships, or things get a little confusing, you know, the solution is to be diplomatic with this moon in Libra, is to be um, on that path towards trying to balance things, right? And not just be caught up in the confusion and the chaos and, and the circus, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So we want to be able to find as much equilibrium as we can hold on to the speaking because it's going to be hard to find that because there's going to be moments like on saturday where it's like you know like the moon cross in the south node it's like you know i'm starting to accept the way things have panned out i'm accepting the things that didn't work out right i'm accepting what i've had to let go of you know finally we've gotten to that moment but also there are new things developing there are new people coming into our lives you know there may be some new relationships that are forming in your life that are in conflict with previous relationships that are still lingering or where things aren't fully finished, right? I've, I've seen that quite a few times this week, actually, in just conversations. I've had conversations like that with people. So it's just being in that place of being able to just find solutions be diplomatic and don't be afraid to use your judgment you know use your best judgment if your instincts and your observations are giving you a clear message here with mercury right after the kazemi you you gotta listen you gotta pay attention you gotta have your antennas up right neptune's like an antenna it's, it's, it's just receiving information, right? And Mercury is the messenger. So, with Neptune being an antenna, like an antenna, like a receiver, it's also sending, receiving and sending, right? So, the message Mercury is um, getting from Neptune is like, like, we have to be more realistic, we have to be more practical, and not come at things with starry eyes and rose-colored glasses or just make r crazy unrealistic decisions or even having unrealistic expectations in relationships. You know, these are the things that we're going to be facing this weekend. These are the conversations we're going to be having, you know. <clears throat> we also don't want to be getting involved in other people's weird shady shit, right? With Venus square Neptune, Mercury square Neptune. We also like... With Mercury square Neptune, it's important to call people out on their bullshit. And this is where the bullshitters come out. Mercury square Neptune. Okay. Why don't you just go type in on Google fucking celebrities who were born with Mercury square Neptune. Like, you'll catch the vibe. Okay. So, there's going to be a lot of BS floating around this weekend. You know? But working through a lot of where things aren't clear or where things <clears throat> you know aren't as trustworthy or people being aren't being trustworthy you know if anybody's doing shady shit this weekend like there might be some massive exposure of shady shit being being exposed here especially going into monday when the moon comes into scorpio and squares fucking pluto opposes mars and taurus like there can be some shady shit that pops up this week and i was like fuck like you know that wasn't quite what it seemed that wasn't what you said that can come up but that can come up a lot this weekend but it is important too with that moon in libra that there is this opportunity to really like okay let's find a solution where is where can both parties benefit um, from this difficulty. So there is, even when things are a little wild, a little crazy, there is an opportunity to find solutions with this moon in Libra this weekend. It's good to be back. My throat is... I still have some shit in my chest. So I hope I'm not coughing too much on here. If I have it all. <clears throat> we have the King of Cups. So it is. It's like, you know, you got to let things flow. 
You can't just like keep putting dams up to like stop this and control this situation. It's like now like the dams, the uh, this Venus Mercury conjunction square Neptune, like this is where the dams start to peel off. This is where the doors start to really be forced open by the flood, right? This this is kind of flood energy. Uh, and I think there was just there's some big floods going on in Miami right now in Florida. Like we may see more of that this weekend. More crazy weather, especially with water or tropical storms or shit like that. You know, King of Cups here. Like this is very Neptune Poseidon energy. You know, but also like being able to embrace that creative um, energy when there is conflict, because you know friction and creativity go hand in hand like you need something to rub against so sometimes when we get into these square points they can actually be very creative especially in the mutable signs when we're having mutable squares like this especially when neptune's involved like yeah they can be a little weird they could be kind of crazy they can you know, get in some weird situations right but the creative potential to really you know, for that friction to really ignite some kind of fire that was never lit before. You know, there can be some interesting, creative, unique energy that can pop up this weekend, along with whatever kind of insanity and chaos that can brew with these squares to Neptune. But also a big message for all of us, especially with Mercury and Venus together, that, you know, we got to always remember that we are worthy of being fucking human beings that you know our self-worth is not determined by the external world or uh you know fucking the matrix creation that does not define or determine our value you know what determines your value in the world is how you speak your truth with mercury and venus in gemini it's how you speak your truth and it's how you're being able to um, deliver information, your willingness to deliver information, to speak from your mind, to speak from your heart, and also just exist in fucking honesty because the Mercury Square Neptune as well can really expose where things were not so clear and so honest. So this is a powerful weekend. And coming into Monday and next week... <laughs> Things are going to start to really get deep. A lot of Pluto energy, Pluto, Mars energy coming into next week. Um, this is going to get really, really intense and really exciting too. Um, so Neptune and Saturn are preparing to go retrograde here very soon. Mars is on its way to Uranus. A massive frequency shift that we're moving into once... Venus and Mercury come into Cancer. How about that? So we got two personal planets changing signs as we leave the weekend. So the vibe coming into next week is going to be way different. So this weekend is a lot of endings, a lot of closing of doors, um, or at least the start of that process. You know, and it, it begins with acceptance. So... That's where we stand for the weekend. I'm glad to be back. Thank you all for the kind words, being patient. Um, I hate not showing up to do this show. I fucking love it. So I appreciate everybody being here as usual. And have a great fucking weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Peace.